The seventh eruption in the Sundunka crater chains of the Reckinus Peninsula always started very vigorous and strong like this. In the darkness of the night, you could see it. And I've a speed it up, of course, here the video around eight times. You can see that it has, over time, greatly reduced in activity. What that means is that the volcano in this stage, the output of it is reduced, but the input from the underneath to the reservoir of the magma is actually building up and adding to the reservoir. We are seeing it in the GPS data. They measure the distance between the ground and the satellites directly by the speed of light. You know, you can shine a laser or visible light. Uh, what that means is that the input is, in, is constant or slightly increased, output decreased, so the ground swells up. It inflates practically the ground. The ground rises a few centimeters even is enough we can pick that you know these satellites are accurate this is one way of seeing it another way is directly measuring the distance to the ground through the radar and with the radar we have the advantage that it can work in the night and it can work through the clouds so we are measuring the distance to the ground in the line of sight in the same position in the sky and then we can um, um, compare these uh, images that we build up with the radar to build this such a colorful image. Of course, these are false colors, but it just shows the amount of the rise in the ground. And the latest image that we have shows that the ground at the Sorsengi volcanic system, which is the slightly to the west of the Sorsengi dual thermal power plant, is starting to swell up, coming up. And like a bladder, practically pushing up the ground, not just upward, but also sideways. That means the Grindovic, this is the Grindovic Rift Valley, this is the name I've given to it, is also shrinking slightly. The shrinking of this is important because it shows the model is correct, is ac actually is a good approximation of the what is happening under the ground in the earth layers. So like a bladder is pushing up, all the way around it, not just upward. It makes the valley slightly smaller than it was. Then when the next eruption happens, this contraction is reversed and the ground goes back the way it was, snaps back practically. This is what we can see in the data.